Okay, we're going to uh, remove this battery and put a new one here simply by sliding the battery out of the way. This is a new clip that we're doing for the uh, new landing gear, the new MIA Microflight Tough Landing Gear kits for the Blade MCPX helicopters. There's a new battery, we're going to be installing this. You can snap, snap it on. That's one way of doing that. That's pretty snug there. You can also adjust the CG, the center of gravity, by sliding the battery back and forth. Typically, if you push the battery all the way where it touches the plastic case up against this little black part here, the center of gravity should be right on. So that's basically how you install battery. One, one more time. We're going to be slide it out. We're going to slide it out. Okay. And we we'll you can either insert the battery by sliding it or what I find easier is simply snap it in place right there and move it into position. The great thing about this little MCPX that I really like is that it takes off just like a real helicopter if you let it build out the speed, the rotor speed. Uh, try to maintain it steady and build up your your RPM. Look how look how it lifts. Isn't it cool? It lifts so realistic. And that's one of the reasons the MCPX is one of the better helicopters. Besides being an almost uh, maintenance free helicopter as far as the flyberless uh, setup is concerned this is one one of the uh, better fiberless helicopters you don't need to fiddle with the settings too much and once you get that CG set up with the proper setting of the battery location it's pretty stable look how stable this thing is the, the landing gear is also assisting in the stability by providing a little bit more weight under the belly this is not a real heavy landing gear, as we can appreciate here in, the, in these videos. The MCPX with the standard battery has no problem lifting the helicopter and maintaining a good flight time. It's very, very docile, very easy to, uh, to control. But of course I'm using a DS. DX6i transmitter which allows a little more look at that pretty stable let me, let me go back here there you go and I'm not even doing any hard line here which the MCPX is very capable of doing I can do 3D 3D flight I can fly inverted you do a lot more than, than just hovering, but I'm just having fun just hovering this helicopter in the back. Let's try to pull it back here. My camera man is telling me to push the helicopter back. And right now there's zero wind. It's perfect flying condition for a tiny helicopter such as the MCPX. And this is very ideal for uh, for keeping it steady. Look at that. It just sits there. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Oops. I'm 
still using the same battery we did the other video with, so it's running out of power. Now what I'm also using here is the AMIA VGS, the blade grip safety device. That is the yellow part that you see on the rotor head, at the very top. Those come in colors to match the rest of the, uh, the upgrade parts that we're doing for the MCPX helicopter. And as long as you don't set that too tight on the uh, blade grips, you'll be fine. 